Has anyone been to a wedding with an awkward or cringe worthy moment that killed the mood and if so what happened? Went to a wedding a few years ago. The bride just hung out with her friends on the dance floor and didn't really talk to anyone else. The groom made his rounds, greeting everyone and thanking them for coming. He started off one side of the room sober, and by the time he got to the other side he was so drunk. Everyone was feeding him shots. He ended up getting up on our table and started stripping and dancing. It was hilarious. Then, he went to the bathroom and ripped a paper towel dispenser off the wall. Bride got mad and left him at the reception. He went outside the venue and threw up. Best man ended up taking him home to sleep it off. Bride had no idea where he was the next morning. They are still married and have kids. I once attended the wedding of my friend's sister. The groom abandoned her at the altar but the family had come and from Norway to the US and the catering was non-refundable. So they had the reception anyway. There was sad dancing, awkward activities, and the bride had mascara down her face and was angry flirting with anyone that moved near her. Most awkwardly painful experience ever. Upvote for angry flirting. My cousin's wedding just two weeks ago. The bride's parents are divorced because of her father's cheating, beating, drinking, and general nastiness. The father of the bride, who is remarried by the way, calls the bride at 6. 30 a.m. on the morning of the wedding to announce that he will be attending and that he has taken out a restraining order against her mother's boyfriend of several years that everyone really likes. He claims that if he shows his face the cops will be called to forcibly remove him. Bride cries a lot. New boyfriend says he will be there to support her however she wants and offers to kick her dad's butt if he tries anything. The bride pulls herself together and asks her two brothers to give her away at the ceremony. The dad shows up, pretty drunk of course at the back of the church, during the procession and sweet talks his daughter into letting him walk her down the aisle. She agrees, I think just to try to prevent a scene but is basically holding back tears as she starts her wedding. Mum's boyfriend is there, but the wedding progress is as planned and an hour and a half of full catholic mass later, they are married. Later on, at the reception, her father walks up to the boyfriend at the front tables in front of a crowd of about 300 and pours a full glass of red wine from a new bottle. He then dumps the entire glass directly over the man's head soaking him down and staining the white suit he was wearing. Immediately one of the brothers begins punching his father and someone grabs him to hold him back. The father tries to punch him back, so someone else grabs the father and holds him back. Meanwhile the second brother takes this opportunity to beat on the father while his hands are being held. Father gets kicked out, but the mood is completely ruined. Awkward and very cringy so everyone kind of just shuffles out and goes home. It's my personal opinion that every wedding needs an unofficial bouncer. Someone not related to the couple, but a friend big enough to settle things down if someone gets rowdy. As long as he doesn't get rowdy, then look out. I was the only unmarried person at a co-worker's wedding. When the book ATOS happened she just handed it to me. It was like that Jennifer Aniston movie. I was so embarrassed I left. True story. We'll call the groom Steve and the bride Julie. This took place in the US. Julie was an immigrant to the US. While Steve and Julie were dating, Steve's sister caught wind of a rumor that Julie had been married previously only for the purpose of getting her green card. Steve confronted her with it, she denied it, he proposed, she said yes. Sister didn't drop it, and told Steve's parents what she heard. Fast forward to the wedding day, pictures at 11, service at 1, that was the plan. At about 10.30, with the whole wedding party assembled and waiting for pictures to start, there's a family meeting with both families, bride and groom, and pastor in the basement of the church. Bombshell dropped. Steve's parents hired a private investigator to explore the rumor. Rumor confirmed. Julie had lied about the previous sham wedding. Those of us in the wedding party had very little idea of what was happening. We just know there's a row going on in the basement and none of the family members or the bride or groom are in sight. This goes on for an hour or more. We're now at about 20 minutes before the service was supposed to start. No sign of the bride, groom, or families yet. They are literally arguing it out in the church basement to decide whether there's going to be a wedding. Steve is committed. Julie is committed. Steve's parents aren't having it. Steve finally puts his foot down. Wedding proceeds with totally stressed out bride and groom. Shaken and very quiet bridesmaid. Steve's sister. 
who started this whole crap show, a pastor who's wondering what the heck he got himself into, and Steve's extremely angry mother, TL, DR, bribed to be lied about her immigration status, Groom's parents hired a pie to investigate, 20 minutes before game time and no one knew if there was going to be a wedding, wedding happened, 20 years later, couple still together, go figure, screenplay pending, they are literally arguing it out in the church basement to decide whether there's going to be a wedding. Steve is committed. Reading too fast and I see the words basement and committed. I was at a distant relative's wedding reception and all the tables had a bottle each of red and white wine on. There was a delay with the bride and groom showing up to cut the cake and start the meal off so a few tables popped open the bottles. Then the father of the bride approached all the tables, saying sorry, we didn't ask for wine and removed all the bottles, including snatching one from the hand of somebody in the process of pouring out. Massively awkward and cringeworthy and the rest of the reception was silent afterwards. It turned out the mother-in-law had approved the wine and menu without telling the father of the bride, who was paying for it all and he wasn't too happy as the bottles were £45 each. Well dang. I bought $3 bottles of red and white for my wedding. It was an open bar. Didn't want to break the bank. They were supposed to light a unity candle, but nobody took off the cellophane. Hilarity ensued. The minister got so flustered that once they finally got it lit, he says like this candle your love will brine shitely. It's all on video. And their love brines shitely still. The groom turned up in an army uniform that very obviously did not belong to him. Nothing fit, and he was wearing trainers. The bride didn't seem to notice but everyone else did. Actually, every single thing that happened at the wedding was awful. Someone got a fake tan handprint on the wedding dress. The bride's brother's girlfriend wore only lingerie, and insulted the bride's grandmother. The father of the groom brought his new wife who lectured us all on paganism. We turned up at the reception to find the reception dinner. A slice of processed ham and a block of cheese each. Pickled eggs optional. Was out in the elements and attracting flies. The cake was cut, then wheeled off to a back room and never seen again. The bride spent most of the reception in the bouncy castle and the groom disappeared entirely. I've got two. First was a couple of our friends who had their ceremony officiated by the groom's best friend. Pretty normal thing to do however the officiant went into a very detailed speech about his friendship with the groom like their entire backstory, never mentioning the bride. It was no crap like a 10 minute long speech about these two guys growing up together and then it abruptly ended and he did the marriage vows in like 1-2 minutes and that was it. Super weird and the whole crowd was like WTF was that crap? Second was some cousins of my wife. Apparently the bride's grandmother always writes and reads a poem at the reception about the bride and groom which sounds nice on the surface. She starts reading this poem and it becomes apparent this is not a short ordeal. It was no crap like 8-10 full freaking pages of poetry about the bride and groom and she read it in kind of a singsanji manner. Poetic prose I guess. And she kept losing her place and dropping pages and having to start over and it was just the most awkward thing I've ever sat through. It probably took 15-20 minutes for her to get through it. By halfway a good portion of the audience had got up and left the hall and went to the bar and people were just looking around at each other like WTF is this crap. Still a fun wedding though. In your third story, that maid of honor should have never brought up how the bride and groom met if everyone knew. That's just an elephant in the room after that. Terrible best man speech. Nice guy but did everything you're not supposed to do in a best man speech. Talked about the groom's ex-girlfriends. Actual bad childhood experiences. Inappropriate language swearing. Inside jokes that no one could understand. No coherent order to what he was saying and dragged on for about 15 minutes. Bride and groom both looked bored and pee off at the same time. I've been to that wedding reception. Several times. If when my boys get married, I'm going to insist that the best man submits a draft of his toast ahead of time. I might also have my finger on the sound system switch. The last thing you want is a humiliated bride and groom. Not to mention two pee off mothers-in-law. My wife's cousin's wedding. The best man got up for his speech and proceeded to stand there and ugly cry into the microphone. Kept trying to compose himself but... Nope, just would lose it and start crying again. This went on for what felt like forever, but I think it was really only 2-3 minutes before another groomsman gently took him by the shoulder and had him sit back down. 
Everyone was really uncomfortable, but it is by far my favorite wedding speech that I have encountered. Silver lining that's actually kinda sweet unlike just so many other stories in this thread. My first wedding was the cringe. Mill wore black, head to toe, sat in the last pew of church. After wedding she cried, tore her corsage off, ripped it up and threw it everywhere. Peeled out of the parking lot and laid rubber down the street as we were going to the reception. She went home drank, and started popping pills. Phil had to call an ambulance to take her to the hospital. Our wedding night consisted of pagers going off and phone calls off and on all night. Bride had no underwear on and the first dance was right in front of a window with the sun shining in. Goodness to say we all got a good look without trying. People clearly treated her differently the rest of the day and I'm sure she had no idea until she saw her pictures after. I got one. Went to a my GF's East Coast friend's wedding. Both families were from old money, very waspy. During dinner, people began giving speeches congratulating the bride and groom on the mic. Then the groom's sister goes up and her speech leaves everyone going WTF. She went on this narcissistic rant making everything about her and how much the wedding had affected her, made fun of her brother throughout by saying how she never thought he'd get married and how much air he'd lost in the past year, then went on a weird sobbing rant about how much 9-11 had affected her personally, none of it having anything to do with the wedding or her brother. The DJ eventually and awkwardly took the mic back again and said um, thank you for that, um, speech and tried some wedding singer jokes to lighten the mood. Went to a Mormon wedding. Apparently two guest, a married couple, had no idea the bride and groom were even Mormon, and so they walked around and kept asking people where are the drinks at and people would point to the lemonade and water table. They left the wedding, and came back with drinks, and were trying to pass them out to people. Someone politely pulled them to the side and explained. They went and put the drinks in their car. I talked to them after, and they said that they just assumed the bride and groom couldn't afford to provide drinks for the wedding so they were just going to cover the cost. They were super embarrassed. TL. DR. Non-Mormons brought booze to a Mormon wedding. During the book A Toss, my cousin who is in her 40s, recently divorced and just had a kid with a random dude, makes a point to tell all the other women and girls who went up to try and catch the book A that they need to let her catch the book A because it's her turn to get married next. It was super awkward and she even made everyone stand away from her so she had a better chance. Super awkward. Did she catch it? At my own wedding, I had an aunt from out of state corner me and pressure me to get her son a job at the company I worked for. It was the wrong time and place for that, and I wasn't in management or involved in hiring anyway. I finally had to lie and tell her that I planned on leaving that job and looking for another. My wedding actually. My not quite divorced aunt caught the bouquet, and her 17 year old nephew caught the garter, and took his sweet time putting it onto his aunt. And no the wedding did not take place in Alabama. Yes hello how can I delete past events. Best friend's wedding. His father is an astrologer. Nicest guy you'll ever meet but absolute space case. Groom's older sister's perfect description of her dad. Begins his speech normally enough. Speaking about how he and bride's friends were friends associates and how wonderful it was that they reconnected totally by chance and are now marrying. Next goes on to describe how much bride and groom like to play with each other and that they make great playmates. Next part verbatim. When I think of a word to describe SNC's relationship, the word that I think of is, jizz, was laughing way too hard to follow whatever context he was going to give it. Also, groom's younger sister was married the next year and had her father officiate the ceremony. Father proceeds to begin my daughter made me promise not to say jizz this time. Oh I guess I just did. My daughter made me promise not to say jizz this time. Oh I guess I just did. What's it like knowing someone with this much balls? Was the cause of the awkward moment. Was best man in my buddy's wedding. Pulled an old gag that infuriated the bride side and pretty much noped the heck out of there after I got my buddy in the car to the hotel. The gag you ask? Went to the hardware store and bought about 100 miscut keys from the key copy guy. Handed them out to a bunch of people at the wedding. Including the bride's grandmother and another one of our friends who is flamboyantly gay. During one part of the speech, I mentioned that the bride would be moving in with the groom after the wedding. And if any old lovers had his house key, 
to please bring it up to the main table and return it. People slowly started to come up and turn them in. After about 2 minutes, it feels like everyone is done. But no, Bobby comes up and returns his, and the place goes nuts. Bride's side of the family is mortified that my friend obviously had a homo relationship in the past, not even remotely true, which is why it was funny, but that's not the end of it. Bobby goes and sits down and you'd think it was time to move on, when slowly, grandma, with her walker, takes what seems like a lifetime to come up and place the very last key on the table in front of the groom. Half the place was in stitches, half the room, mortified, lol oh well, you can't win them all. On a side note, that marriage lasted about 2 years. That is hilarious. True story, I wish I could provide proof because nobody will believe me. A cousin of mine was getting married, his wife is a nurse so there were many doctors in the wedding. It was a huge wedding over 300 ppl. Some of them very old uncles and aunts that hadn't had alcohol for years. An uncle aged 75 plus had too much alcohol and passed out at the wedding table. All the doctors of the wedding gathered around and were trying to get him up. But he had a suction and he died. The ambulance came declared him dead took him and his close family members left. Even after that the party continued awkwardly. It was too early to end it. After 20 minutes another very old uncle that probably ate too much had heart attack. Again the doctors did CPR on him and were fighting to keep him alive until the ambulance arrived. His daughter aged around 55-60 saw her father like that and passed out and hit the stairs with her head and started bleeding. Half of the doctors now went to check on her. Even the doctors were shocked after all these incidents. Eventually the daughter had a concussion and lived while her father died in the hospital. Of course the wedding table stopped. Let me say it again that wedding with over 7 doctors and many nurses 2 people died and 1 had a severe concussion. Well, in hospitals full of medical professionals, people die all the time. There's nothing you can do. If that catheter has your name on it, it's your time to go. I went to a wedding where the bride got drunk and made out with another girl in the washroom and started showing everyone her nipple piercings. Very classy. Washroom does sound classy. I was the cringe. So I'm about let's say 4 years old. My aunt and uncle are getting married in a large beautiful church. My evil older sister starts whispering to me pointing out that my grandmother is up at the front of the church and she must not see me since she walked right by and hasn't come to see me. Right as my aunt is walking down the aisle I stand up and start yelling grandma I'm over here. It me. Why oh 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 grandma of course my mom basically tackles me to get me to shut up. My grandma still greets me with a you. It was a dark Friday evening wedding at 6.30pm, in mid-November, as the bride started to come down the long church aisle, the power went off and the organ faded away as the wind went out of the pipes. The only light came from a few candles way up front near the altar, otherwise, the vast space was in darkness and the bride was less than one stroke four of her way down the aisle. At this point, guys in the wedding party started singing, or whistling. Here comes the bride as altar boys brought lighted candles down the aisle so she could see her way. Two guys went out to their cars for flashlights which they held for the minister to read. The couple looked ghostly with flashlights shining on their faces as they exchanged vows. That's actually kind of awkwardly romantic. Sounds like a Hallmark movie. At least nobody panicked or screwed up. Groom's family was Jewish. Bride, who had put on some weight recently and drank quite a bit on her special day, fell off the chair during the horror, and nobody moved to catch her. Luckily she was fine and got back in the chair like a champ. The mood picked back up after the dance was done. Oh and later his grandma fell while dancing and had to be carried out by all the groom's men to wait for an ambulance. Last I heard she was fine. Didn't actually witness this, I was just told about it. A couple where I used to work got married a few years back. During the best man's speech, he alluded to the fact that the day was extra poignant, because the groom had lost a couple of people close to him recently. People were confused, because although it was true that he'd recently lost the man who was a father figure to him, nobody else had died. The punchline to the joke was that the groom's elder brother had recently joined the police, the best man ended his speech with so the CS dead to me now. Anyway, as expected, it went down like a lead balloon. The bride was of Caribbean descent, but was British. 
Her grandmother was the one who had been born in the Caribbean and came over to the UK to settle. Her grandmother was very traditional and extremely religious. We were at the reception and the speeches had just finished. They'd finished early, which meant we had to wait for the next bit. So someone suggested that anyone could make a quick speech to congratulate the bride and groom just to pass a bit more time. Up gets the bride's grandmother. She started by saying how good it was to see a man and a woman get married today. How it was Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve and proceeded to go on anti-gay rant for about 10 minutes. Everyone just looked round horrified. My dad was a notary and would marry pretty much anyone that asked him, so boy, have I been to some fun weddings. The first wedding I ever remember going to was for my dad's cousin. He's got married in my great grandmother's kitchen, which he had just put down astro turf in with duct tape around the edges to keep it secure. His beautiful bride came out of the bathroom and asked me to play the wedding march on her cell phone while she walked down the aisle. This was probably 2001. So her cell phone was one of those Nokias that played monophonic ringtones. It was lovely. Then, there was the first wedding at my parents' house. This was maybe 2010, whenever Larry the Cable Guy was popular. The groom wore a Jitar Dunn t-shirt and told the crowd of about 15 people that he couldn't wait to Jitar Dunn that night. Their first dance was my favorite part. They played long, slow kisses on my parents' DVD player and he cried. My personal favorite was a wedding in a bar that my dad performed for his uncle and his uncle's fifth wife. The uncle owned the bar and met his bride to be there because she was a regular. The plan was to have the ceremony by the pool tables, but it had to be moved to the bar area to accommodate for all the guests. By 350 pounds, 6 feet 2 dad had to stand on the bar with the bride and groom to marry them. Later that night, during the celebration, I saw my first set of stranger boobies when a woman that was at least 60 flashed everyone. The same woman was later duct taped into her bar stool because she kept falling out of it and her husband was tired of picking her up. God, I miss my dad. Not me but happened to co-worker. Blah blah blah. Groom was a New Yorker. Wedding in NYC. Bride and her family from deep south. Her sister was maid of honor. Her speech ended with the south will rise again. Y'all. It's only half time. Roll tide. Oh. And at another wedding someone collapsed on my dad and died. The south will rise again. Y'all. Y-I-K yes. Older lady fell dancing and had to be taken away in an ambulance. Luckily for the couple that was about an hour and a half in. But yeah. Everyone noped out of there pretty quick. My sister got married at the family house. Best man got ripped on eight of them. Champagne. And who knows what else. Ceremony began underneath the bride's second story window and the best man handed off the ring to the groom. The stumbled away into the house. We all thought he went to puke. The ceremony continued. Vows were exchanged. Both the I do's happened. When my sister looked up for rain clouds. As she was sprinkled on. The best man. Blacked out on a tivin and alcohol. Was peeing on the wedding party from the bride's second story bedroom window. The groom thought it was funny. The bride didn't. A fight ensued, and the wedding couple left the scene in separate cars. Literally separated at the altar. Wedding was eventually annulled. Last we saw of the groom was the next day when he dumped my sister's possessions out of his pickup onto our driveway. And yes, if you were guessing, Florida man. But the wedding did not happen in Florida. Looks like your sister dodged a bullet. My own wedding. My maid of honor was very self-obsessed and had to make everything about her. When it came time to exchange rings, she said the box is empty. I nearly cried. Then she said kidding with a big grin on her face. No one laughed. I still hate her for it. Didn't really kill the entire mood but I was 15 and went to my dad's for the weekend. Who's super religious and it was a given that every Sunday I had to attend church with them. Well, it was late April so I brought a nice white sundress to wear. Saturday morning I find out that I'm going with them to a wedding. For two people I've never even met before. All I had to wear was my white sundress. I got a few pretty bad looks. That was probably the most embarrassed I'd ever been. And I never wore that dress again. Ouch. Went to a destination wedding out of the country. Literally every speech made from the groom. Best man. 
Maid of Honor and the film was about how the groom met the bride at a bar after a night of getting absolutely crap faced and in the midst of projectile vomiting asked for the bride's phone number and she gave it to him. That was it. The whole story and the whole speech which was already told the night before at the wedding rehearsal, repeated four times at the wedding. The look of disappointment on the father of the bride's face would literally make it to the top of our watch people die inside. The entire wedding was a crap show tbh the whole bridal party was coked up from the night before and tried to act like no one noticed. Everyone is pretty sure the bride conceived that night so here's to a healthy baby. I never thought that the actual wedding would be a low point in traveling out of the country to a destination wedding. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.